on the face, you know, you make up. You must see these people, American people who look so nice on the television. You see them in the house once. You will think it's some ghost of that person. So bad they look. Because the skin completely peels off. You go to Kerala and see those women at night. Glowing face because they put coconut oil and they, they take bath. Never wash the coconut oil. Have you seen a Kerala lady in Kerala at the back? She has got a half moon in her blouse. That is her uh, hair standing there with a lot of coconut oil making an impression. It show me one Kerala girl who has got a skin disease. Because biggest germ killer in this world is coconut oil. Biggest germ killer. That's why in pickles you put coconut oil, you don't grow fungus in that. And you look at a Tamilian girl. No feet, you must see their feet. So clean. Because they don't get out of the house without turmeric paste on the feet. And many of them, of course, the olden style. These days, of course, people are westernized. They put the turmeric paste on their face. They all look jaundiced, if you look at them. They all look yellowish. These are all healthy things that we don't do. And the truth is always suppressed for business. Coconut oil. 1964, I wrote an article. Coconut oil is as good as mother's milk. And the best fat because coconut oil and mother's milk are the only two things that contain sodium monolauric acid, which is the basis of human immune system. I even wrote there, suspecting doctors who have not studied their biochemistry properly will have a child to go and see the infant food, which is only coconut oil can be used for infant food. If you use any other oil, the infant will die. Because only two things that get digested in the mouth. Because infant doesn't have the pancreatic juice, pancreatic lipase. So the fat can be digested only by the salivary lipase. And only two things. Even today, you put coconut oil in my mouth, it gets digested there. You don't have to sub sub you swallow it. It just gets digested and directly goes as ketones. And that is why in America today, coconut oil is a treatment for Alzheimer's disease with very good results. Coconut oil now is the treatment for heart diseases from Harvard. And Harvard has now admitted that because we demonized coconut oil, millions of people have died all over the world. So, truth, it's very difficult, very difficult. I tell you, I have suffered so much that in 1984 I gave a talk on coconut oil for the heart in American College of Cardiology meet where there were 25,000 cardiologists meet in three cities only because such large conference halls are not there anywhere. And after the talk, they questioned me for a long time, somehow that I survived. Then I was coming out, there was an old cardiologist, he is no more now, may his soul rest in peace. Elliot Corday is his name. He called me and said, young man, do you have any other work in Boston? I said, no, sir. See, it's now 4 o'clock. It will be dark by about 6 o'clock and the whole soya lobby is so powerful here, they may bump you off. You better go. <laughs> this, is, this, is our, this is called truth. This is the truth. You must see the abusive letters I get. I wrote a book called, What Doctors Don't Get to Study in Medical School. It came out. There's a big journal in India called the National Medical Journal, which comes from All India Institute. And they think they're All India Institute, they're all gods because they have political clout. You know, he starts with All India Institute as an MBBS student and end, dies in NCD as this retired director or somebody. Till then, they're all in All India Institute. So he wrote two page review. The author is a fool. He doesn't know science, he's a bloody fool. And he must be hospitalized. And the book is so bad. The English is horrible. And this and that. And all kinds of rubbish he wrote. Would you believe? Copies were sold in one week. So I wrote him a nice letter. Thank you very much for getting all my books sold. Now this book was published in London by a company, English company, on their own. And the British Medical Journal wrote a review which said, this is not a textbook of medicine as claimed by the author, but is a holy text of medicine written by a prophet. Then, all over the world it sold. It is so difficult to tell the truth. So difficult to tell the truth. So be yourself. And go back to your roots. Accept what you are. Because if I am a monkey, if I know I am a monkey and I accept I am a monkey, I have no stress at all. But most of us, if we are monkeys... <laughs> look at this girl. <laughs> but most of us, we know we are monkeys, but we want to show to the world we are tigers. Now here is a stress, because every second you have to act like a tiger, act like a tiger. Because if something slips, your monkeyness may be seen by society. <laughs> so the biggest stress is, you don't know who you are. Try to know who you are. And then, you know, life becomes so easy. Don't keep any secrets inside. Open book. 
Anybody can write on that book. Open book. And you are so compassionate, so happy. Compassion is the real meaning. See, we have changed the definition of health now. We, in the sense, we have a group of scientists. We call ourselves the World Academy of Authentic Healing Sciences. We are 15 years old. And I, except me, I'm a villager. The 14 of them are who is who in the world of science. Four of them are Nobel laureates. And they are very influential people. And we have had a decision to say we must change the definition of health as absence of mental, physical, psychological, spiritual, etc., etc., death. And this is the definition of Alma Alta is a business thing. Because I tell you what, absence of disease. Now for that we have created a business called Chakap. Chakap. You are fine, no? You are fine, but you go to a Chakap, you come out as a patient. <laughs> I'll tell you why, it is very simple. No, you do not, don't laugh, I am serious about it, very serious. Because today, you have a TBS, total body scanner, which scans 500 parameters of your body. Okay, now a little sad statistics, even a child knows, that what are we doing in medicine for the human body? We say, your normal blood pressure, what is normal?